Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video and today we're gonna speak about the build 14977 which I made a video on it, it's my latest video and I speak uh, quite bad about the build and uh, because there wasn't many apps working, Skype wasn't working as messaging, um, the app messaging was crashing and overall the outlook wasn't synchronizing, overall the build was very messy and I did a hard reset on that build I didn't like went back to another builds on that build I made a hard reset I then I backed up everything I had every app I had and all my apps now are installed on SD card on internal memory but I'm gonna move them to SD card but after the hard, hard reset after everything got installed now every app everything works fine so if you encounter to have the problems that I had on my video then the fix is for a hard reset and now Outlook uh, is working every email that I had on Outlook. It's not gonna be focused, but now you can see here everything is synchronized. There is no like that that information that is not synchronized. Uh, Skype, actually, someone in the comments said that Skype is still working as uh, messaging. At that moment, I knew that uh, a hard reset will fix that. And after the hard reset, it actually got fixed, and Skype uh, has the option to to make it as a default uh, messenger messaging app, uh, which is my default. Mess messaging app then the messaging app uh, it also works it also works it doesn't crash now which previously I, when I was trying to open it was insta crashing now it works I kind of speak bad about the build so <laughs> I I needed to make this video again because uh, overall the build is not so bad what was bad is the previous build was working and when once I installed this build kind of the everything got messed up on the phone and uh, that's why I kind of speak bad but with a hard reset everything uh, got fixed and everything works fine uh, but I made that video because uh, you guys will want always to see after update how it works and after the update it wasn't working fine now after the hard reset yeah it works fine because um, not many people will want to hard reset always when when you install a build and this problem also occurs when installing when you go from windows 8.1 to windows 10 even to official builds these problems will will occur as well when we when you upgrade from 8.1 to windows 10 and I always, always recommend to make a hard reset for people who go from 8.1 to Windows 10 or even from the uh, Redstone 1 to Redstone 2, or to Redstone 2 or to Anniversary Update. Uh, it's always good to make a hard reset if you have previous bugs on older uh, builds, on even on official. And when you install a newer one, then some of those bugs will remain on the phone and will not be corrected. And many people, including me as well, uh, when there is a bug and it, when you update and it wasn't corrected, people will say that Microsoft, you didn't correct this bug, when, when this bug, it might be corrected actually, which in this case happened, there was many bugs, but those bugs don't exist when you hard reset. Let's speak about hard reset. Hard reset is always good when you encounter problems, not only in Windows 10 or Windows Phone, in Android, in Windows for desktops, in almost every OS it's good to make a hard reset when you encounter way too many problems. For example in Android I also encountered like when once the apps start to crash way too much then the solution is to hard reset. One thing for good for Android is uh, you can uh, like delete the cache from the apps so if there is a problem with only one app or two apps then you can uh, remove everything from that app and, and like reset it to zero and it might work it might not work for uh, for windows 10 there is not such an option at the moment but i've heard that microsoft is kind of trying to bring that option and um, i made like two videos on my previous build and on like on tube builds for that that tubecast wasn't working as well and now tubecast it works after the hard reset so um, as you can see hard reset fixed bugs from the build and also fixed tubecast but because tubecast i'm sure it wasn't really a bug from the os it was more like a bug from the app itself because the app tried to open uh, it opened and then it crashed and then after that it couldn't open anymore so it kind of was maybe a mistake from the app or whatever it happened there but hard reset is always good to make even on desktops but overall once you get like apps that uh, they were working before and they don't work anymore 
actually there was a comment on on the previous video that um, you're using insider preview so i mean you agree that you are in in beta software i said many times i know this is insider i know this is beta it wasn't usable at that point which now it's usable after hard reset but uh, i mean as you see in official builds you also get this kind of problems if you don't hard reset many people have problems when updating from windows 8.1 to windows 10 and then they kind of say oh windows 10 doesn't work well it crashes way too much of course it will crash because you're installing a new os over an older os and that's kind of always always bad but anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know if when when was the last time you did a hard reset and if you did the hard reset on this build like i said for me now everything works i don't really have a problem skype also works more than fine so i'm happy i'm happy that all the emails that i have they are synchronized no problem on that and i can finally use my phone as a daily driver and as you can see i'm still on insider with a hard reset the phone works fine so it's not really like like many people say oh it's beta you agree to tell beta software yeah it's beta software but it works it works good only with a hard reset that's the problem of um, these builds because once you install, install more and more and more Older bugs, they kind of stay inside the phone, even if you install newer build. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.